I'm Anthony Carboni, and I am excited to be here for the launch of NGN at GDC 2016. So GDC is the Game Developers Conference. And of course, because we are here with NGN, we are gonna check out everything going on here at the NVIDIA booth. We're gonna see everything that goes on under the hood to make the games that you play look absolutely gorgeous and allow you to play them wherever you want. I'm here at the GameWorks station with Kier. GameWorks, if I understand correctly, is all of the all the sort of physics and particle and magical effects that make me want to like run my hand through Geralt's hair, right? That's exactly right, yeah. <laughs> GameWorks is different than GTX stuff. GTX stuff is the stuff that's already released to us. As a gamer, I have that stuff in my games. But GameWorks is sort of beta stuff for developers, right? Some of it is, yeah. We're planning what, what's going to happen for the next generation of games, basically. So over the next three, four, five years, what's going to make your games look far more realistic and far better than anything that you've seen before. That's awesome. So you guys show, you show the developers everything here now. So a year from now, two years from now, all this stuff is worked into games. Exactly, yeah. Awesome. What is this thing with all of the men falling out of a cylinder? Um, this is one of the demos for uh, the new PhysX GRB, which is the GPU rigid body pipeline. So this is something that we've, we've been kind of working on in NVIDIA for probably close to about eight years. Up until now, we've had GPU acceleration on clothing, on particles, on fluids. But what we haven't had successfully yet is a really good GPU acceleration on rigid bodies. Rigid bodies would be like what sort of objects or what sort of things I'm interacting with? They would be the characters when you kill them, the rag dolls. Okay. They would be the bit of the wall that falls down and collapses when you shoot a bazooka at it. They would be the vehicle that you jump in and drive. I mean, we, we've seen it kind of like touched on in modern games, you know, where you're kind of running through a jungle and you know, you've got trees kind of swaying and you can interact with stuff. Yeah. But a lot of that's been like kind of pre-canned animation with like sine waves running through and not actually okay. something where you can really just go in and everything is interactive. You can blow up a building and instead of it being like maybe 20, 50 or 100 pieces of fall down, you could have every brick collapse. Wow. So this is like instead of faking wind through trees, instead of faking an exploding building, it's all going to be modeled in real time. Yeah, that's the plan, yeah. We're at the Shield Station. We got John with us from the Shield team. What's up, man? How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. So you guys have a ton going on. Obviously, TVs. There are new services. Is anything on the horizon? Anything new that you want to you want to let us know about? Well, I can't mention everything, yeah. but I can say we just released the uh, new Shield Tablet K1. It's a great value, and it's just really awesome for gamers. The thing I really love is that you get the controller. You know, you pop out the uh, custom tablet. Uh, you flop it back and then you've got this screen that you could just put anywhere and then I'm playing Grand Theft Auto yeah. again at the airport or I mean I, sometimes I play it on the bus. It's funny because like you pull out the controller for the first time and people give you this look like I'm allowed to bring a controller wherever I want? <laughs> like that's agreed upon as grown-ups <laughs> that we can do that and you're like yeah it's great. Well I mean it really it, it's, it really makes it a, a different experience. Another great game to play on uh, Shield Tablet K1 is uh, Banglory. First of all Graphics are amazing. We're talking console level graphics on a touch screen. Yeah. You know, we like to say it's the ultimate tablet for gamers. Yeah. And and I think is let's say even don't like gaming, it's 199. Yeah. It's a fast tablet. It's a it's a 16 by 10 wide screen. Oh, your Google Docs are gonna look so good on it. They have like three screens back here where they're just <laughs> doing Google Sheet demos, and it's unbelievable. The macros in it, guys. You have got to check it out. We've got Ben here with me from the European PR team at NVIDIA. So many things here at the booth, Ben. I know, and VR <laughs> has just exploded, hasn't it? It really crazy. is an amazing year for VR. There are multiple experiences that people can check out here at the booth. I played Bullet Train yesterday, right. which is absolutely insane. Uh, I got in the Oculus with the Oculus Touch, and you are a telekinetic secret agent in a gunfight. It's crazy to play. What else is here? First of all, auto and Oculus. You have E Valkyrie. It's basically the ultimate space combat simulator. This game puts you right in the pilot seat. It's one of the first things that I played where I totally understood how VR was going to change things just because you just look at the ship that you want to shoot exactly. and it targets. And I was just like, oh, VR, yeah. okay. But in addition to Eve, uh, we move on to the Vive headset. So this is HTC's Vive. You can walk around this one a lot more. It's, it's super interactive. We have two amazing demos. Yeah. So first of all, 
don't know about you, but I've never really fancied climbing Everest. It, no! A bit scary. I don't understand why people want to do yeah, that with well, their lives. I like my life, yeah. so I don't want to risk it. And so that's why, uh, really, Everest is an amazing demonstration. The sense of vertigo is actually pretty daunting. That is so it, crazy. It really is all about immersing you in the game itself. Cool, and so we've got one more uh, VR demo here at the booth. We right? do, and this is my personal favorite. Oh, okay. So this is uh, the Star Wars demo. It's and a lightsaber <laughs> in VR. What more could you want? What oh. more could you want than that? And it was actually, it was made by ILM. It was made by their Correct. X Lab, so it was made by Lucas in-house for VR. Correct, we want you to feel like you're in the film. So we use the power of two NVIDIA GPUs, one powers the left eye, one powers the right eye, called VR SLI, and it really does give you an incredible experience right into Star Wars. That's so amazing. There's so much VR stuff on the horizon. It looks absolutely unbelievable. Thank you so much, Thank Ben. Thank you very much. So as you can see, tons of stuff going on here at the NVIDIA booth. Big year for NVIDIA at GDC, but a big GDC in general. And we have more highlights from the floor for you, so be sure to subscribe here at NGN.